Hello students, this is the um, termination phase and it's been five months since, since Emma has been returned home. Uh, so it's the end of May that we are doing this, uh, this final visit uh, before the follow-up phase. And so you're going to be hearing me talk to Lauren about uh, the progress that she's made, perhaps some setbacks, uh, and uh, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. It should be a short, short uh, meeting. Hi, Miss Holda. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Well, this is the day that we talked about for the past couple months uh, of planning for termination of our services uh, from, from the agency. So, so interested to hear what you think about uh, the time in the past five months. Um, it's been going well. Okay. It's been nice to have all of the kids back together one home okay so but that has been an adjustment for everyone tell me about tell me about what the adjustments look like well um, it's been a while since the two older kids have been around a baby oh okay so and they didn't have that much um, interaction with Emma um, while she was with the Glicks so yeah, they didn't really visit too often. Yeah, yeah. so there's only a, a few times that they um, spent time with her, so it's been an adjustment mm -hmm. for them to um, understand that they can't leave their toys slaying around, sure. their little stuff mm -hmm. that she might choke on, mm -hmm. or they can't give her food, mostly with Brandon. Yeah. Um, Ashley knows that. But yeah, so. so she's uh, she's about nine months now. Mm -hmm. uh, she'll be one in the beginning of August. August. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, and um, so you're just concerned about Brandon leaving some of her, some of his uh, toys around for mm -hmm. her to put in, put in her mouth or you yeah, know, kind of supervise them more. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. I see that you ended with Pauline, Paulina. Um, you ended those services uh, about uh, three weeks or so ago. Yes. Um, yeah. And you had a little bit of setback in January, uh, right when mm -hmm. Emma came home with the the rent. Can you tell me about that? Was that resolved or? Yes, yeah. it was resolved. Um, my sister and my mom helped me um, that month for the rent. Um, I didn't have as much time, I didn't have as many hours at the restaurant as I thought I was going to be having that month with um, yeah, Emma right. moving in and she got sick, yeah. so I had to take off, um, yeah. so it was just a, a hard month. There were a couple things, I remember you concerned about with the kids being home from school so much during mm -hmm. the day and your mom working third shift, who was going to watch the kids. You had to cancel a couple of shifts there with work, and, and that was, that was, that put you behind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, counseling with the Freedom Center? Yeah. Tell me about that. We, um, I'm going every other week now. Okay. Um, not as often. Um, I'm still going to NA as well, and yeah, okay. it's, we're talking about maybe stopping counseling, maybe taking some time to see what that would look like, um, so we're, we're talking about it. My experience with the Freedom Center is they um, have a great reputation of knowing when to recommend final termination with their clients, but also an open invitation for a client to come back if they're having some struggles and often do that on a, on a pro bono free basis. So uh, I know you've got connected, it's Jen, right, mm -hmm. Jen Miller, I think you've connected well with her. Uh, a little bumpy at the beginning, uh, your, your relationship, but I think you developed a good working relationship with her, and I'm sure that Jen would be able to 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 um, give you some guidance in that and, and help you back. But but uh, that's great. Yeah, as far as our agency is concerned, 
uh, and all the reports that we've received from the Freedom Center that you've made significant progress and obviously it satisfied the, uh, the judge um, and uh, for reunification of, of Emma. Um, but uh, that's, that sounds like you've completed that uh, to satisfaction. And when, when I came out here in uh, December, we talked about initially one or two months keeping the case open, but you recommended keeping the case open because of, of just wanting to make sure that you got through the school year with the kids and, and all the transitions that, were, uh, that were, were made. So I appreciate that wisdom on your part to be able to establish that. Um, Again, just to follow up with uh, contact with the fathers, uh, Ed and, and Paul, anything on their, their end? No, nope, no contact. So our process in, in terms of closing the case would be to notify them as well, because they have a, a, a treatment plan as well. They've not done anything on their treatment plan, uh, but uh, the, the, um, and basically their treatment plan was to be in contact with our agency if they were interested in a treatment plan. Um, and to notify them that the case would be closed. So it wouldn't surprise me if they would try to be in contact with you once they know that the agency is no longer working with you. So you did talk to your, your lawyer the last time and, and she gave you some good advice about what to do in case uh, they try to threaten you in, in that, that area. Um, so, okay, good. Any other updates? Relationship with your mom and your sister is still progressing well? Yeah, going Good. well. I think um, since the group conference we had yeah, yeah, that was a great. lot of progress. Mm -hmm. um, just having a lot more time together. Um, my sister's coming over to the house more and yeah, Good. seeing the kids. Good. And the last time I interviewed the kids at school, I went to the school to see them just to see how they were doing. They said that they uh, started going to church. They, they went to church with your mom mm -hmm. and, and you went with them? Yeah, we all went to the Glicks church. Oh, good, um, together good. Together as a family. Um, shortly after Emma came back into my house, we, we went to church with them and contacted them. And is that Good. awkward at all for for you to see them with you being the caretaker for Emma? Any type of awkwardness there? Um, in the beginning, I think there was a little bit, just because the Glicks had spent more time with Emma than yeah. I had, yeah. so they knew more of her temperament, yeah. Yeah. what she liked, and I didn't. Um, so that was difficult, but um, Paul, I talked to Paulina about it a super, little bit, super. and she, she helped me understand that, you know, it was a good thing that they knew what she liked and that they mm -hmm. were caring for her well. So um, now it's not, it's not awkward, because I've, I've had Emma for a while now, and I feel like I know what she likes, mm -hmm. and... Um, and I like that the Glicks are invested in her mm -hmm. life, so mm -hmm. they just want to have a little bit of contact. Not They're not asking to see her or anything, but I I asked my mom and my sister if they wanted to go to church at the Glicks mm -hmm. church to see them. And Is your sister going as well? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Good. Good. Now that's a great, that'll continue to be a good support. Mm -hmm. And I think that family group conference was a really good time to bring everyone uh, together to focus on the needs of the kids yeah. uh, and then as a result the adults get the support uh, from that as well that's yes. wonderful all right um, any other any other thoughts about um, closing ending ending our involvement um, it was a rocky road at the beginning with uh, um, yeah. how how I got to know you and your family situation was not only the best situations, but I'm very pleased with how much progress you've made and, and uh, I want to acknowledge the, the growth that you've made. Um, do you have any um, emotions? What are your thoughts about, about closing the case with our agency? Um, it's exciting to know that, um, that I've worked well throughout these last, mm -hmm. it's almost a year now, mm -hmm. um, and it's a little nerve-wracking to think that I'm going to be more independent than yeah. I have been in the last year, so 
I'm apprehensive about yeah. that a little bit, but I'm I see excited. That, I see that as one of your goals. Is that a goal of yours to be independent with stability? Mm -hmm. And here we are, we've reached that point where you are independent and you're even becoming more independent. You know, sometimes the agency can be interpreted as, as being heavy handed and, you know, always watching out and maybe you feel like you, you're walking on eggshells, but, but uh, this was an admirable goal when you added that to your plan. Um, and now we're at that point where you are moving towards independence and you can be, uh, demonstrate, you have demonstrated, you will continue to demonstrate that stability. So there's a lot of hope there a lot of potential for you to, to have success. Uh, I know that it was difficult. Um, there were some challenges uh, with with uh, us working together, with um, what were the expectations. Uh, you, I felt initially that you were a little fearful of the process and you had every right to be um, because uh, your kids were taken away from you. I could see how you interpreted that, but but uh, you persevered and you did a great job with that. And you did, you did, you did all the work. You, know, you did great work here. So. I want to acknowledge the progress that, that you've made. Um, also be aware of some of the setbacks, potential setbacks that you could make in life. We all have those, uh, but uh, you have great support in your family. You even developed additional supports as a result of this process with the Glicks and your counselors. And, and so I'm very hopeful and uh, I hope you feel the same, same way. Good. So if you think about where you were back in August of 2017 and where you are at, where you're at right now, think about those changes. What what words come to mind when you think about all the changes that you've made over the past couple months? Almost a year. How would you describe your life now? Um now I would describe it as Hopeful, mm. um, manageable, <laughs> um, healthy. Great words. Yeah. Great words. Yeah. And on a scale, you know, I like to do these scaling questions. On a scale from one to ten, of where you feel. Uh, most content with your life, one being extru extremely content, ten being not content at all. Uh, where are you at with that feeling content? Um, I would say I'm at like a two. That's awesome. Pretty content. That's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you would describe your life back to a year ago. How content with your life were you back then with the same scale, 1 to 10? Where were you back in August of 2017? Probably like a 9 or a 10. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And think about just in a matter of 9 months how you were able to change things around, make choices, do the hard work uh, to move from a 9 to a 10. I don't always get individuals who make those changes like that. Even going from a 9 to a 10 to a 7 or 8 is a big, big uh, celebration. But to see in nine months you've gone from a 9 or 10 to a 2, that's cause for great celebration too. So not to celebrate with drinking. No. That's going to ca no, caution no, no. you with that. But to celebrate with your family and, yeah. and uh, uh, with your kids because your kids really deserve, deserve you. All right, so the process that we have is uh, you had requested that we keep, stay open until the kids um, finish their school, just to make sure that we close that. So, so at the end of this month, um, we'll get the report cards from, their, uh, the, from, from you, from their, their schooling, put those on the record, and then go ahead and process that. So um, we'll just pro I'll probably just have one more time where I meet with them and you, and, and uh, you know, maybe we could could get a pizza or something or go to a park and you know we can we can celebrate that yeah. uh, I like to have those celebrations with my families that I work with um, celebrating you finishing your involvement with me how's that yeah. that's <laughs> um, good and so then we'll, we'll process the case closing and then what I like to do what our agency likes to do is follow up in about three months uh, just to see how things are going so I'll probably just call you up and make a make an appointment to come out and just uh, do a review about uh, the progress 
and just to fine tune what's, what's, what changes you think. Okay? okay. Great. So we'll be in touch then uh, for the next visit. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.